Hello and welcome to PowerSlide TV. And in this episode of Speaking Specs, we want to talk about the Roadhog brake. The Roadhog brake is the original speed skating brake. PowerSlide was the first company back in 2002, I guess, uh, developing a brake especially made for speed skates. As we have a lot of marathon skaters um, and not everybody is a pro, so somebody is looking for more safety, especially when training and there's uh, some special road conditions, whatever, a lot of traffic. So you might look for this kind of brake. The Roadhog brake fits maximum four times 100 millimeter wheels. Um, so it doesn't fit a three times 110 millimeter wheel, so it's really especially made for four wheel setups because the distance in tri-skates and three-wheel setups is longer between the axles, so it won't fit a 110mm tri-skate, okay? Um, well, here I have one example of a skate with 4 times 110 millimeter. I just show you how it will be assembled. There are two axles coming with the package, so you need to replace the axles here, take them out, and then you take the special axle. Um, when you assemble the brake first, you put in the screw because it's a single axle system here. So you start from this side uh, where the thread is, start with the axle here or with a screw. And on this, as a second step, you add the, the, add the axle part. Um, I want to show this to you later uh, or now. Uh, I will start doing it, but uh, because it takes a little bit, a few minutes, so I don't want to uh, bore you too much. I will switch off the camera now. Once it's almost ready, I switch it on and we are a little bit faster then. So half of the assembly is done already. And uh, now I do the second part. Like, like I said, first you put in this screw here. So we're starting from the thread side. Add the screw. Don't have to put it in completely. Then from the other side, make sure everything is aligned to put it in. And you start to screw in the second part. You need two, two pieces of tools, so I wanna I'll do it like this way. Put everything together. That's done really quick, basically. So it won't take too long, as you can see. So the brake is assembled and uh, yeah, you're safe when you skate outside in the traffic, when you go for training. Stay tuned for more. There's a lot of uh, questions about brakes and all this. If you have more questions about it, drop a message and we for sure will answer. Uh, thanks for watching and remember, we love to skate.